consequence for me to say so to you. The Christians them from my place, the barn is this and over me some white face shouldn't be black. We're not blocking that. No, before the pipe could land, before it blocked. Blue One drugs? second. <laughs> I burn. Yeah. Up at bamboo tree, see how it is? And come out and burn it back down here. And always, always, when we and fall, go back for the work. We are going to cut across the public works driving and put out a culvert there and take it. But it should be for your cover, sir. Thank you, sir. Good day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down with an ice cold beer and true. If you don't buy that time, it's your time. him like a dog, and they hanged him by the next till he was dead. And George William Gordon Mary wrote letters and made a speech in his defense, and they hanged Gordon too. They ran Garvey out of Jamaica, Marcus Mazaya Garvey, the clique. Half of them said he was a communist, half said he was mad. So we come to the 1940s. Norman Manley fought for political power for the people fought for the poor to have the vote so they could have political power. Half said them was communist, half said them was mad. Why do some people in Jamaica spread what they know is a lie? What is their game? What is the game they are really playing? It's the opposition, say, turn them back. But we will never turn the people back. We know where we are going. We are going forward. As the people say, forward ever, backward never. Like all the other poor countries of the world, Congress, we have been excited for years. We ask our workers to break our backs on the sugar estates to make sugar. Or we have to send the sugar abroad. And the money we get for the sugar is what I have to bring the tractor into Jamaica. Every year the tractor costs more. And we can't make it. Every year the machinery costs more. And we can't make it. So we have to bring it from abroad. And that system that have us there, killing up ourselves for the sugar, poor country. 
is assisting you on an imperialism. All over the island. Lots of improvements. New roads being planned to be built, and even this road still resurfacing the rice road again. So there's a lot of improvements in the road. To develop roads in the hinterland of this country all over. It was something that wasn't given too much thought before 1972. But it's something that has been implemented now for the benefit of farmers to lift production, for the safety of travel, and all the economic benefits which go with the construction of roads. No, they're going to build a new market here. Starting next month, they're going to build a new market. But next month, they're going to start. Every month, you're going to start. No, no, no. You can buy next month, they're going to start. That's what I like to do. Yeah, I'm going to cut up land, but I don't have much to extend, you know, one for more to extend. But it's a bit of a, you know, plant, stick a bit, stick it up. And we get something every week. Yeah. Watch out, watch out, When we came to power, sugar workers were paid as little as a dollar and fifty cents a day. Yes, sir. Not bad at all, sir. We thank you for what you do for me, sir. God bless you. And now at five dollars thirty a day. And women who used to be paid even less than men now have equal pay with men. mental change that we brought guarantees to the sugar worker either out of crop employment or maintenance of his pay during the out of crop period. A lot more better. Where well, the people organize more better, they more, more, have more unity, and they are seen that the business is, is their own business, and they have, have more interest by doing the, the thing as before. Everybody do have, have a more stronger, you know, we know that the business is their own, and everybody have a willing more heart. We are beginning to develop socialist 
and strategies. The sugar worker is now becoming an owner cooperator instead of just being a worker. This plan was all ruined, hundreds of acres of land, with one coal here and one coal there. Since the government gets into power, a lot of people can work and get, every week they can go home with something, and they can always buy something for the children. What do you do before the crash program? At home, doing a domestic affair and little cultivation. So for this, working out your home for money? Yes. When I leave school, I was just on the street sitting and idling, and then this pioneer thing come about. I was glad and I get into it. I could help myself on a tree. Well, I was a fisherman before, and the pioneer work, and through the weather did bad, I get pioneer work. Many have seen the impact program as people sweeping streets. Yet the vast majority of the money has gone into productive work in the countryside. A lot of women and young men particularly have benefited by this impact work and the Pioneer Corps. Oh, this is impact work? Yeah. You, you work on this project for so long now? Give me a mic, Alman. You do my mic. For about... Yeah. Nine months. Yeah. Yeah, you know, there are people who say that young people don't want to work. Do yeah. you, you think that's true? Well, I know that I have to work because if I don't work, maybe, well, something will go on bad, but I don't like to go on, you know? Like what? Um, you know, for a man don't work, you know, I'm happy to do. Root things, root things, things, root things, you know. And that one. Seed and them things there. So, my best way now, I love to work, you know. We live in a democratic socialist because it, when people can move together and pull together has won. Your problem is my problem. I think that is socialism in action. about two and a half years ago. I was a computer programmer before, but I could always sew, so I decided to start a garment factory. To start the business, I got a loan from the Jamaica Development Bank. But I'm the only one outside of the industrialized countries like in Europe and America that is actually making activity. What assistance did you get from the small industries? division and the agencies in general in getting your operation as well? Well, apart from affording me the, the premises here, we got a lot of technical advice as to how to set it up and there was from the uh, loan from JDC. We are trying to establish small businesses as part of our democratic socialism. This means therefore that we have to concentrate on a program of agro-industrial development, putting factories where the products actually originate and using more of our own raw materials. We have just started what we should have been doing in 1962. And that's why we are going through this economic crisis. We must suffer as a new nation and we are determined to continue until we overcome. I find that when you can explain to people what imperialism is, not just in theory, but what it meant to Jamaica in practice, they can understand so much better. Because most Jamaicans, even if they do not understand our history, they have an idea what our history is about.
when you can say that it was imperialism that brought our forefathers here as slaves right away they can they can understand that they can deal with that and after explaining imperialism they can understand why democratic socialism is necessary without socialism we can't live so i live for every man believing in the fatherhood of god and the brotherhood of man let me know that you must unite to brother building a better community sharing their lives with each other sharing the skills and sharing even what they earn. I believe it's among the best. Well, this is socialism. The People's National Party in 1974 uh, publicly re reaffirmed to the, to the total country of Jamaica its commitment to democratic socialism. That is where the party is going, trying to build a socialist society which involves and incorporates a democratic society. Oh, come now, Shelly, I'm very so much. I'm glad to see you. Glad to see you. Yes, it is. Thank you ever so much. There has been a small group who have made a very, very good thing out of being Jamaicans, while a lot of other people have not. A country like Jamaica cannot become a just society if you don't redistribute some of the wealth and some of the benefits. And we have begun that process of redistribution. And of course, the people who were the long-time beneficiaries of imperialism and capitalism in Jamaica, some of them resented bitterly. The, uh, is the access road helping? It helped the people? Yes, the road. Yes, 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 yes. Well, it helped. Yes, 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 easier to move the bananas. Yes, 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 yes. It's more easier. Yeah. It really makes a difference. Yes, it makes a difference. Yes, sir. But I just want you to know, I really appreciate it. Yes, 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 yes. You really make my coffee. Yes, 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 yes. The farmer keeps the nation, and he deserves a fair break. For far too long, he has suffered from low prices, bad roads, and very little rural development. We've helped by raising prices by over three times, actually, and by beginning to improve roads, building houses, and providing electricity. We brought light to more than 70 villages already. We're wiring the homes. Every home in Jamaica must have light. And very importantly, of course, water. And then gravity flow now will take it right yes, down we to we already the farmers have, and things. They already have two tanks. I'm just admiring your home there. When did you build that? It's my son. Your son? Mm. Your son. Mm. Where is he? Christian. He's going to Christian today. I know the tractor. I know the tractor. Yes, this is the tractor. This is the tractor. I will do it. You are taking it with the feeder road. It's my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I'm glad you're here. Very glad you're here. Gentlemen, come talk to me. Come tell me what this problem is. I hear it. I hear things now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.
taking this risk to anger the United States of America? And the answer is this, we are not angering the United States of America, they are angering themselves. They are not going to tell me what relationship I have with Fidel Castro. We have that friendship with Cuba as part of a world alliance of third world nations that are fighting for justice for poor people in the world. And we find that Cuba is our most principled ally in the struggle. And I tell you as the party leader, as long as this party is in power, we intend to walk through the world on our feet and not on our knees. A number of firms and confirming houses abroad that have been in the habit of extending credit to Jamaican importers have suddenly started saying that they are no longer prepared to extend this credit because they do not believe that Jamaica will be able to find the foreign exchange to repay them. And they have said this in spite of the fact that Jamaica has never defaulted on a foreign commitment. And we have noticed that this kind of pressure has intensified considerably after we expressed our strong support for the liberation movements in Southern Africa, uh, particularly in Angola. We have gained benefits from our Third World Alliance because as a result of this alliance, we have been able to start a number of projects with third world countries that are going to be of tremendous value to the Jamaican economy in the future. I mentioned particularly in this connection the Jalbamex Lumina plant, which we are putting together in collaboration with Mexico and Venezuela. <laughs> The bauxite worker is the one who, as in the nature of his situation, had to fight first and establish the new conditions which other workers come to enjoy afterwards. He's very militant, very union conscious. Anyway, it's nice to see you all again. Oh, yes, yes. It's nice to meet you again. See you. Uh, because of our firm position in foreign affairs, we were able to impose the bauxite levy to yield a fair return for the bauxite mined in Jamaica, and most importantly, to insist that the companies return to Jamaican ownership the vast acres of land they had acquired. No where to work in this area. And a piece of land that the capture out of old pen connected to um Kakun C C. Well they work there and they want to dispossess them now. Oh, who, who owns that land? Oh. That is the rest of Kakun that was left over. 
belonging to Lady Sierra. We didn't want it for nothing, but if we could get it to lease, then truly, we would be well satisfied. How many acres is it? Well, maybe the remaining portion of the level land is supposed to be about 150 acres. Marum! Call in the Minister of Agriculture, Western and officer there. Find out where the land is. It's 150 acres of flat land, and it shall be bought, and the people of Chigwell shall have it. Because understand me, we are a socialist government. And for hundreds of years, this country was run like a backyard by the land barons and the capitalists. And I don't hate anybody. But justice must come for the poor. The meek shall inherit the earth under the doctrine of socialism. We are pioneering a new path now. We believe that the land is second only to the people as our most precious asset. And just as the people must never be exploited by a few, so the land must be held in trusteeship for all and the benefit of all. <laughs> Every acre of this country has got to be made to produce the last pound of food it can produce. It is a wonderful day when the Project Land Lease came into existence. And here I can show some example these onions. <laughs> socialist country, and as a socialist country, we have to make sure that there is equality of opportunity. Our education must be geared for children from 4 to 17, and also for university. As a government, we feel that there must be free education. I think that all, all people who claim to be leaders have got also to try to be teachers. This has a particular significance in young countries like Jamaica that are coming newly to the experience of independence. Look what I gave you this. 330 plus 3 plus 20. Tell me how is 30 made up. Three tens are no units. Right? Come on. Now they'll fight to learn. They'll read. All right. Where would I put the three? On the units line. Right? Right? I'm right a down. fisherman. I love fishing and I love to, to read. Jamal deals with, with the fundamentals of reading and writing. And I really am trying in a very simple way to try and deal with the fundamentals of politics and political understanding. Destabilization actually means the deliberate attempt to create the kind of conditions in a country that makes the people lose confidence in themselves, their society, and above all, in their government. And uh, it takes the form, in Jamaica certainly, the main instrument for destabilization is violence. Violence is used ruthlessly and deliberately for political reasons to completely destroy confidence in Jamaica. It has as its secondary objective, of course, the running down of the economy as a, the result of the loss of confidence caused by violence.
on your shoulders. Your kind of life is going to call for two completely different set of characteristics. A peacemaker and an upholder of the law. He has to be both things at the same time. He's a friend of the people, yet at the same time be in reserve like a fighter. I see democracy and socialism together in the building of a nation where people have equal rights and equal opportunities. I took up my position on the left when I was old enough to perceive and understand the nature of poverty and injustice in the world. I took up my position on the left when I was mature enough to understand that it is a world system and an internal system that makes us suffer what we suffer. I took up my position as a Democrat on the left when I came to understand how the elitists of history manipulate the people to preserve their own power and privilege. Therefore, power for the people is not a slogan for us, but a summons of the will of a people to take up the challenge of true democracy and political self-reliance. And because I am realistic enough to know, Mr. Speaker, that we will not complete the defeat of poverty and injustice in my lifetime, I shall be buried on the democratic left of the political system. If you once make the inner commitment to the idea of justice, it is the greatest force in the world. Any human being who once conceives of life in terms of justice and sees Injustice is commanded to action. We are essentially struggling to achieve the greatest purpose of Jamaica, that is to establish a socialist society under socialist government. Are you come to see Mr. Manley? so sorry that the past 20 years we never have this government in power. If this government was in power 20 years ago, we would have a 10,000 times better Jamaica. And I hope we may never lose the government forever. getting on good. I, there's nothing can stop him from winning again. Labour Party, that leadership of the Labour Party, what you are watching is the yo-yo of the clique. The yo-yo, the clique, that same clique that runs Jamaica like their backyard. Every time somebody fights for the masses in this country, the clique, the clique start to shout. Half of them say communist, half say mad. We, we are the People's National Party. We believe that our mission, with God's help, is the mission that Sam Sharp started, is the mission that Paul Bogle and Gordon continued, 
is the mission that Garvey took to the world and is the mission of Norman Manley in the 1940s. That is our mission now, the liberation of the masses of this country and the building of a society of justice under socialism. This is a year of tremendous struggle. The clique is out in force, but we, the socialists, we know where we are going. To every one of you, I say, study your politics, study your performance, stand firm with socialism, glory to socialism.